Hello. Nice to have you here. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Congrats on all the the boxing success. First Thank of you very all, much. <laughs> it's so impressive looking at what you've done. So, CoverGirl has a broad range of spokesmodels and more than any other makeup company. But as far as I know, you're the first boxer with this kind of contract. How, how surprised were you to be asked? You know what? I was very surprised and intrigued. You know, when uh, when I first found out that you know I had the opportunity to. Um, be partnered with CoverGirl. It was really exciting, but you know, I thought of all the other um, ambassadors, you know, like Ellen and Queen Latifah and Taylor Swift, and it was like, wow, really, I'm going to be in that same category. And it just, um, it made a lot of sense. You know, they're they're really great women, strong in their fields. And is that what? What, what I mean, what appealed to you about being a, appearing in a campaign promoting cosmetics? Was it that kind of company, or 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 was it just the fun to, as well to think of the idea of being this, the the face of cosmetics? Well, both. But you know what? Um, it was really you know what what CoverGirl stands for, you know, and recognizing that every woman is a CoverGirl because you know a lot of people ask me, you know, how did it make sense for you? And it's not really your um, conventional thing to match up a boxer with cover girl, you know, makeup. And, um, it, it just made a lot of sense because of what they stand for though, that every woman is a cover girl. Um, and every woman's strong and beautiful in their own way. You shot the commercial in LA in the fall. What was that experience like? Oh, that was, that was a great experience. Um, I mean, the people were amazing. It was a lot of fun. Uh, there's a lot of, um, sports specific stuff that we did in the commercial. So it's going to be really great. A lot of, uh, like real true boxing workout in that. I, well, I imagine you're used to striking a pose in boxing, mm-hmm. you know, for photos. But uh, w- was it a different kind of uh, a complication doing this for modeling for cosmetics? Well, you know what? It was um, it was a little bit different. But for the most part, they they um, let my true colors come out. You know, I was training for the commercial and a lot of the, the pictures. I'm actually working out in and doing my sport. So um, they made it very comfortable for me, but it was definitely different. You know, the day is not the same. You know, you get your hair done and all that fun stuff, right? Not a typical day for me. But you don't usually wear makeup in the ring. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> right, right. Uh, or, or, or the workouts. So yes. uh, so uh, let me ask you about the seeming paradox. I mean, this is what appealed to us about the story. So so CoverGirl's longstanding slogan is easy, breezy, beautiful. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like there's any conflict between that image and your image as a, a fierce competitor in the ring? Um, do I feel like there's any conflict? Yeah, some uh, between easy breezy beautiful and and I mean you're an, you know, you're you're quite aggressive in the ring. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I mean, um, not about the conflict part, but in the ring, I am very aggressive and I enjoy doing what I'm doing. Um, but I mean. After my workouts, at the end of the day, I, I'm still a woman, you know, and I still enjoy right. um, doing myself up and, and going out and having fun like any other woman. So. And, and I guess there's, studies have shown that media coverage of women in sport is much more likely to focus on the attractiveness of the athlete mm-hmm. than, in, than is the case for men. Uh, do you worry your cover girl campaign could play into that? You know what? I don't, only because of what cover girl stands for. Um, and it's about, you know, being comfortable in your own skin. It's about being strong inside and out and beautiful inside and out. Um, and so I don't feel like it's really looking at um, the beauty side of it. I feel like they are really um, focusing on the strength of it and, uh, and you know, the difference between every woman. Every woman is strong and beautiful in their own way, and they really focus on that. So it doesn't create a conflict because of that. Do you feel like you get more scrutinized for your looks as a female boxer than your male counterparts would? Uh, I mean, you know what? Anyone who meets a boxer for the first time, male or or female, they want to just you know ask if your nose has been broken and check it out, whether it's a guy or a girl, right? Everyone wants to know. So um, no, I don't really. I don't really feel that you way. You don't feel that way. I mean, w- women do seem to be harshly judged for choices in this regard. I, I was thinking of, we had sprinter and Natasha Harding on the show recently, mm-hmm. and she pointed out that she received a lot of criticism for posing nude for ESPN's The Body uh, issue, uh, and they were very credible, you know, uh, shots that were in concert with what she does athletically. Uh, none of the men who posed got that kind of criticism. Does that resonate for you? Does that sound familiar to you? Well, you know... Um I can see where, you know, a lot of sports, they, they are looking at that. They're looking at how are you trying to sell your sport? Are you trying to sell it because you look good or because you, you play well and compete well? But I feel like, um, you know, this partnership with CoverGirl is more of, 
you're strong in your field and you represent what what uh, we represent and so it's it's blended together that way you know instead of just saying you know put on some makeup and look good and sell your sport it's more like um you know you're good at what you do because you you work hard and you um, are confident and um the partnership is because of those shared beliefs Boxing is a sport that can be tough on someone's appearance, male or female, right? I mean, <laughs> broken bones, <laughs> swelling, bruising. Yep. Do you now have to worry about that <laughs> as a cover girl a model that, you know, you're going to get a black eye or you're gonna, your face is going to be messed up somehow? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Um, well, first of all, uh, when I'm training, I definitely focus on, on defense anyways, whether I was a cover girl or not. I definitely focus on defense. I believe that's very important. Um, but you don't care I mean, more about your face now. No, no, definitely not. <laughs> right, because right. I mean, um, I showed up to a photo shoot, for example, a couple of weeks ago with a mark on my face and I don't mark very easily. And so this time I'm like, oh, OK, I wonder, you know, if there's going to be a problem. And they're like, oh, that's awesome. You know, did you get that boxing? That's so cool. So it was it was totally fine because we're really just celebrating um the sport just as much as, mm. as cover girls. I know uh, part of the reason you, you were coming in today was to talk about the, the, being the cover girl uh, spokesperson, but let me just ask you a bit about your roots in boxing. When did you know that this was something you wanted to do? Day one. Day one, I walked into a boxing club. Um, it was a long story. I kind of accidentally walked in on um, some fighters training, but that same day, I met a coach and we did a workout. We had a conversation and I left the gym feeling like I want to be a Canadian champion. Why? What was it that appealed to you about it? You know, it's not one of those things that I had to sit down and think about. You know, I didn't have to, you know, weigh my options and decide if it was worth it to pursue. You know, it was just one of those things that kind of grabbed me and I just knew that that was what I was supposed to be doing. Mm. And it, it, it seems like it's a sport, a sport that's growing, female boxing, mm -hmm. uh, even in the time that you've been doing it. Do you feel that? Oh, definitely. Definitely. Um, you know, we've, uh, we started out in 2000 having our first world championship. Um, the first one for me was in 2005. And I, I believe we were around the 300 mark as far as participants in the world championship. So that's 300 boxers who are champions of their um, home countries. And now we're moving up to about 600. So it's doubled in participation around the world. It's, it's getting really big. Women have had to fight for acceptance in the boxing world. It was a struggle even to get boxing included in the Olympics. It is now. Mm -hmm. uh, the concern around boxing and femininity came up uh, this year when the governing body wanted to make female boxers wear skirts at the Olympics this summer. Where do you stand on that debate? You know what? I really feel like um, some things I don't try and analyze. I don't try and um, find out, you know, why they want us to do that. I, I don't really bother myself with um, with the little things. You know, it ended up that they're not making us do it anyways. Um, but I just felt like, you know, we have to pick our battles. And we were fighting for so long to get into the Olympics to begin with. Um, so... If you were mandated it, to wear skirts, do you... I mean, some people interpreted that as sexist. Would you feel that way? Well, I mean, it's it's... I mean, you can choose to look at it however you want to, but I, I feel like me personally, I wore a skirt in the ring before and it was very comfortable. Um, uh, people are under the wrong perception that they are mini skirts and or revealing or something like that, but they're really not. Um, they're actually very unattractive skirts <laughs> <laughs> that they would have us wear. Um, but I mean, like I said, I'm, I'm more focused on, on the sport and if that's going to you know, um, bother one of my opponents, then great. Well, before I let you go, I have to ask you a bit about the Olympics. You, you, so you've been a dominating force in women's boxing, but you, you had a tough fight at the Continental Championships over the weekend, mm -hmm. losing to American Clarissa Shields. How are you feeling about your chances this summer in London? It has not shaken my confidence whatsoever. I am very excited to be uh, to be back training and to be getting ready for this. For me, it just lit that fire that I needed. It was great timing. It was a tournament that didn't mean anything. Nothing was lost because that tournament, all it did was um, ignite some more motivation and inspiration for me to, to really um, give it 110% and, and really go for it in London. Congrats on all your success. Thank we'll you we'll so be much. cheering for you. Thank you very and much. And congrats on this new CoverGirl turn as well. <laughs> Thanks a lot.